I supposed to get in his sleep with that blooming racket going on? His noisy nose is making the old building shake. Stared at in 20 years since I left America and found myself in my very own claim here in New Zealand. 20 years, and I won't be stared at now. Especially by an ornery, no good varmint like yourself that looks like. looks like. What do you look like? Well, sir, I has been said that I, I look like a bags, uh, a turnip headed pot plants, horses dinners, and even ignorant ice stats. Oh, Beyond that, it's very good at saying what old Wurzel looks like. I reckon that's one of the reasons I love her so much. Yeah, hey, anyhow, stop staring. Stop staring! Could do with a trim. Begging your pardon, Mr. Sursa, uh, but what are you doing of now? I'm just fancying myself up, aren't I? I got some business to take care of. I'm an important fella. The only one left in these here parts. Town don't run by itself. Now, well, seeing as I get so busy, I'll make myself scared. You ain't going nowhere. You're gonna stay here and fetch me some vittles. Yes, sir, Mr. Sursa. <laughs> uh, I'll fix you up some riddles straight away, sir. I said fix me some vittles. Yeah, them too. I can make all kinds. Pickle riddles, riddle riddles, riddle riddles. Shut up! <laughs> All right, now, get your butt over here. Come on. Now, I figure you ain't got too much up top, so I'm gonna take this real slow. First, you take some of this here flour. <laughs> right? Then, a bit of this here salt. Salt. You've got to salt. Yep. Then, a couple of these here eggs. <laughs> and a splash or two of water. That's pancake. What's that? That's pancakes you're making. And what old words will don't know about making pancakes ain't worth knowing. And so there's no need to go on telling me about it unless you want to hear the sound of your own voice, that is. You taking a Michael out of me, Twiggy? Me, sir? No, sir. Because it don't take kindly to folks taking fun out of me, right? Comprehend, AC? Oh, boss, Steve. No, I don't want to go in there. Just do it! Yes, do it. Do it straight away. Yes. the premises? You can't leave Piwaka Waka, Mr. Crowman. You can't. I'm afraid Piwaka Waka has forced me to leave it. It has turned me from a respectable craftsman to an utterly useless member of society. No. I shall pack my meagre possessions and depart Piwaka Waka for places unknown by the time the day is over. I wish anyone to know of this yet. Mr. Crowman? Yes, Mickey. What about Wurzel? What about Wurzel? Did you not tell me yesterday that he had fallen into a hole in the earth? Yes. You 
expect me to climb in after him? Good gracious. Might cave in again at any moment. I'm sorry to say it, children, but Rosal Gummidge is finished. Mr. Crowman! Rosal Gummidge serves nobody when he puts the lives of human beings in danger. Understand? Yes, Mr. Crowman. Rosal Gummidge was not a perfect scarecrow by any means. But he had a certain charm. We should all miss him. But we must not grieve forever. We must pick up the pieces and get on with our lives. All right, Mickey. Mickey? A funeral! Beg your pardon? We must have a scarecrow funeral for Wurzel. He would have wanted it that way. A scarecrow funeral? I haven't conducted a full scarecrow funeral for years. Yeah. 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 Flower. Yeah, very high quality flower that is, and all. Add a little bit of that. A little bit more. And a bit more. Now then, mix it up a little bit. Eat it. And all I have to do get me a spoon and fill my face. Don't touch that! Why not? It ain't even cooked yet. You don't have to cook them. Do I have to do everything myself? Twenty years I've been on my own. I should have known better than to trust anyone but myself to fix my vittles. <laughs> Clean jumping, no good, two timing, backstabbing, sidewinder. And last night's dinner and the dinner before that would be. Back into your corner, you sneaky farmer! some thinking and got me an announcement to make, so listen up. You are now working for me. I is? That's right, boy. You is. And what's more, right now. But ain't you never heard that scarecrows can't work on empty stomachs? You can work with an empty head, you can work with an empty stomach. Now move, boy. Shingle like that, see? And then you pan off the shingle like this, see? And all you're left with is. Well, didn't get any of that time, but what's supposed to be in there is little bits of gold. Gold? Gold, Wizzle. It's the greatest thing that God ever thought to make. Excuse me, Mr. Miner's ever in. What's this here gold look like? Well, I. Look like this. <laughs> well, I'll be bum swizzle. That looks just like that flowery stuff in your kitchen. Tastes just like it, you know. <laughs> Get your finger out of that gold. Ain't for eating? Well, if it ain't for eating, what's it for then? Well, it's for, uh, it's for, it's for having, that's what. Shut up. <laughs> Get on with it, like I showed you. Yes, sir. Oh. Mr. Mines. What's the matter now? Eat me tooties. They're freezing. Just get on with it. Come on, Goldie. Just... Where are you? 
Get in there somewhere. Come on. Hello? What's this? Goldy dust. It's just a bit of yellow rock. Ah, here's the chapter we were looking for. Yes, it seems we have all we require except for one scarecrow brass band, 24 black umbrellas, and a horse drawn catafalque. But we shall have to make do. Who is it? The bailiff of P. Walker Walker. One moment. Do come in. Just so long as you don't chuck me out like you did last time. Morning, children. Hello. Good morning. I believe you have something for me, Mr. Croman. I do. Oh, yes, 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 of course I do. Mm -hmm. Very good. However, Busy as I am uh, getting my affairs in order, you will appreciate it when I say that I have not had time to settle my uh, accounts, and I am even now still calculating the size and nature of my uh, income. I see. And when will I see an example of this income, Mr. Croman? Shall we see tomorrow? I'll come back this afternoon. He's gone! Now, now, children, we must prepare for Wurzel's funeral at once. Oh, very good, children. Paste him in the catafalque. There. Yes, well, they will have to do. What about the sacred tunnel? Yes, well, I couldn't locate any of those, but I do have one of the common or garden variety. Finally. Thank you. Thanks. The scarecrow brass band would have been a bit ostentatious. And I think we agree that Wurzel's funeral should be like his life. Humble and unusual. Now I do believe that we're ready to journey towards the peaceful resting place of Wurzel. How's that lump in your bonds getting on? Consider yourself lucky I got a forgiving nature, boy. <laughs> well, where's we going then, you forgive me? Just shut up and keep moving. You got some blasting to do. <laughs> Dang near blew me turnip the head off that one day. Comes if not wearing me blasting head. That's if I've got a blasting head, which I don't think I have. I'm time for a snack. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Oh, a yummy peppermint stick. <laughs> ah. Mm. No good. Cheap whiz -bags. Them rocks didn't budge an inch. Anyway, this time, I've used twice as much dynamite. Wouldn't be surprised if the whole mountain didn't come down. <laughs> okay, Whistle, keep your head down. There's gonna be a red devil of a blast. Yeah, well, I only hope this will be the last one. All this blasting's put me off my dinner. Okay, Wizzle. Wizzle! There's no need to shout. Listen up. Dynamite didn't go off like we're supposed to. Now you gotta go and check it out. Me? Oh no, thank you very much. Wizzle ain't no good at checking dynamite. Move, boy! Yes, sir. If old Wurzel knows anything about checking not the mat. No, 
He doesn't. No. If he's too loose, wise, look a bit arsy tarsy. Yeah, I reckon I'll take him back to Mr. Miner. <laughs> Here I am again, Mr. Sansa. <laughs> what are you doing with those detonator wires? They're supposed to be stuck in the dynamite. With they? Well, I thought... It killed me! You want a job done proper, you got to do it yourself. Well, go and do it yourself, then, you big, fat, hairy gorilla. Twenty years I've been on my own. Should have known better than to try and team up with anybody except myself. <laughs> well, I reckon while I was waiting and... I'll we'll put my feet up for a moment or three. sacred scarecrow powers vested in Chromed. We gather to commend Wurzel Hedrogamid to the earth, from whence all his parts first came and are now to be returned. Wurzel's last possessions, if you please, Mickey. Ask the Earth to accept Wurzel's possessions peacefully. I ask you to accept them peacefully. Apples for health, corn for plenty, berries for happiness. By the rain and the wind and all the seasons, I consign this twig to eternal peace. Is that part of the ceremony? I don't know. This is the first scarecrow funeral I've ever been to. Where is it? No, no, of course not. Mr. Crowman! Mr. Crowman! Mr. Crowman! Children! Children! I want you to listen to me. I am all right. Now, I want you to fetch a rope and let it down. A rope? Yes, go quickly. Let's go. Yes, but before that, I suspect I have another task ahead of me. Fell out this morning. Yes, but we can't do now, so the measure. Even the see? Well, you wait right here and I'll find out what's going on. I said to wait here. All right, Whistle. Stand right here. Keep quite still. If I want to take good aim at you. What, why for you pointing that bang stick at our words, though? Twenty years I lived alone. And meeting you proved to me why that was a good idea. Mr. Crowman, help me! Say your last farewells, boy. Good day. Who are you? Where'd you come from? What you want? Him. Can't have him. And it seems, sir, I have no choice but to add another notch to the handle of this gun in my pocket, which has become a legend. Well, sir. Well, yourself. Draw. I'm as drawn as I ever shall be. Oh, yeah? I got me an idea you ain't got a gun under there at all. And I have an idea that gun of yours isn't even loaded. 
is too. I doubt it. Then prove it! about anybody else, but I would describe that as a very close call indeed. <laughs> I don't know about that, Mr. Crowmancer, but it's given me a right old appetite, so it has. <laughs> we thought we'd never see you again. Oh, don't you worry about old Wurzel. He can look after himself. Yeah, look what I made myself. Keep my strength up. What is it? What is it? It's a pancake. That's what that is. Let's give the first bite to the crow man, seeing as that was in what rescued us. Yeah, Mr. Crow, let's have a nice bite. Thank you, Wurzel. Wurzel, where did you get this? Oh, I, I made it, Your Worship, in, in the Prospector's Pectors house, from little bags what he had left lying around. Goodness gracious me. What do you mean? This simple pancake could enable me to stay in Pewaka Waka. Yeah, you are, Crowman. These children led me quite a wild goose chase to find you, and now I've found you, I demand full payment of all outstanding debts. Say no more, Mr. Bailiff. All is well in Pewaka Waka, and there's a token of good things to come. Here, have a bite of this delicious pancake, golden fried. And let us celebrate our good fortune together, thanks to Wurzel Gummidge. Thanks to Wurzel Gummidge. <laughs> and take note, Wurzel. Wealth and money is like your precious food. Either too much or too little causes trouble. I don't know what you're talking about. Who will? Who will? <laughs> it's gold! Precisely. Oh, is it really? <laughs> <laughs> 